Alrighty, music fans, welcome back to the Real Music Observer. It's Dave doing what I do, observing real music in real time for real people just like you. And me, welcome to the wilderness. Welcome to the jungle. Hey, little Guns N' Roses metaphor. Um, the TMZ video, I just had a, a chance to see it, the one where uh, Jonathan Kane and his wife Paula White Kane are, uh, looks like they're getting off an airplane and, uh, heading out, or maybe they're heading to the airplane, I'm not sure which, but in any event, uh, TMZ, that fine outfit that ambushes, you know, people who aren't suspecting that they're going to be ambushed, I do suspect they will be in my backyard fairly soon, but <laughs> in the meantime, uh, Jonathan Kane, you know, he answered the questions, uh, I had the content yesterday of what he, uh, pretty much answered in that the big answer in all that is will you know journey break up and the answer was no way those are you know two fairly emphatic words when they're placed together as a side note uh, Paula White Kane looked absolutely pissed uh, <laughs> I mean I was watching her uh, the reporter had some ridiculous question about you know uh, if Neil Sean wanted to get into the White House uh, couldn't you have gotten him in <laughs> And she's just like, kept walking. You know, since you're like, you know, spiritual advisor and all to the president, couldn't you have, you know, pulled a few strings? I mean, it wasn't exactly like that, but they're asking her some, that was like a ridiculous question. Like, do we think Neil actually wanted to go to the White House? I mean, is it, did, did these guys do any research prior to the ambush or are they just running on fumes? I mean, ooh, there's Jonathan Kane from Journey. He was at the White House. Let's talk to him. Uh, at least they had the good sense to kind of throw some questions at him about Neil. And his response back was, you you'll have to ask him. You'll have to ask him. And it looked like a very reluctant uh, response. Kane seems to want to just not deal with this, okay? And I've got two opinions one is, John, you've got to deal with this. You've got to deal with it one way or another. The other is, if he keeps quiet, he doesn't look like the person who's doing all the, the agitating. And I think that strategy has worked, but it's starting to wear thin because maybe, you know, Neil, that's why Neil is, is going this route, because he knows that um, he more or less needs to keep the pressure up and maybe just maybe these guys will just say uncle that's why Arnell this morning seemed to be just losing it on Twitter and watching this footage you see you know sort of this reluctant Jonathan Kane he doesn't want to talk and for the fans I think John should talk John should I think John wants to keep the band together but does he want to work with Neil I mean that's something that we probably be interested in hearing. I mean, I think I'd be interested in knowing, uh, but he's really not hinting. He's not leading anyone in any direction. I think once he got off the tour, he just wanted to promote his solo album, his Christian album. Uh, he's really focused on Twitter. He does daily devotions and so forth, and I get them occasionally. And he seems very sincere about his faith. I mean, I don't know the guy personally, uh, but if I were judging, which everybody seems to want to judge on this channel and everywhere else, uh, he seems like he's trying to get that part of his life together in the sense that he's definitely committed uh, to being a Christian. Now, I have, again, spoken sort of on both sides of the Paula White issue. I won't spend too much more time on it here. I just want to say <laughs> she just looked angry as hell. And I'm not sure if she just had never gotten ambushed before by a reporter. Uh, I know since she's been working with the president, uh, she's been under a lot more scrutiny. Maybe it's all getting to her. Maybe she was a much more private person before all this stuff, even though she was kind of a public ministry type figure. I'm just trying to see where she's at. Maybe she feels the questions are really unfair and they ought to be directed back at Neil. Uh, it's just this never-ending saga here, and that's why I continue to make videos about it, because quite honestly, in the music scene right now, there's nothing 
more interesting to talk about. Uh, I did encounter another YouTuber uh, pretty much saying the same thing that I've been saying. This was an older video, but you know, YouTube has the algorithm, and if you like one of my videos, you might end up watching one of this guy's videos. I think he might have been talking about me in the video, I don't know, but his video actually was a lot more harsh on Captain Neil than I've been, in a sense, because I haven't called him any any derogatory names, okay? I have said things, and uh, I've been fired up when I've said those things, and I, I thought, based on the tweets I was looking at, I had good reason to be fired up. Uh, hence, I'm still getting a lot of feedback on some of those videos I did last week. This week, I've taken a much more low-key approach to this. So, if you want fire and brimstone against Neil, I'm not doing it. Um, again, death threats, my wife's pictures all over the place. By the way, she's she's okay with this. Um, she knows martial arts, so she's she's pretty good with this. Uh, and <laughs> she's, she's probably going to end up protecting me uh, if one of these clowns shows up at the house. But all this stuff just goes to law enforcement anyway. So if you're thinking about anything, it's just, you know, you tweet something, you email it. You know, the email, I've already got a couple of files that have uh, been opened, shall we say. So that's it. Um, I just wanted to uh, give you my take on the TMZ ambush. Uh, it definitely was an ambush, and uh, the Kane family, not happy. And uh, actually, really, who can blame them, right? I'll talk to you soon.